to have that connection brings a certain fire inside of you. It feels real. If that's not joy, I don't know what is. I've always been grateful for every opportunity. There's a lot of people that want to simplify their lives, but don't really know how to do that. There's a beauty to flexibility and a simplicity. Throughout the world, there are people who have created lives of deep meaning and happiness by connecting with nature and the processes of simplification. Come with me on a journey and let's find out how they've done it. For some time now, a suburban lifestyle has not made sense to Scott. Moving towards a less traditional approach to daily life has been a monumental and emotional task for the Edwards family. Leaving the house that has been home for 13 years brings both sadness and freedom. I feel a little bit detached, and probably more so than I want, because I think that there's going to be um, you know, a, a grieving process that's part of this change that hasn't fully hit me yet because I've been dealing with logistics. So, um, but that being said, it's definitely been an, an emotional time to, to, you know, to get through. I mean, it's, it's, it hasn't been easy. Yeah. Jenna, it's, it's hard for her because she said, you know, this is the only house I've, I've ever known. This is all I remember because she moved in here when we were two and a half. So this to her was home. And we've been here 13 years, and and uh, you know, so it's 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 a big change. Um, and I think for somebody like Jenna, who's had a pretty stable life, uh, it feels like you know, the world's caving in. Whereas when I was younger, we moved a lot. My dad was in the army, you know, so we we sort of been through those challenges. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's I think the kids are are feeling, you know a loss of a home and it's probably easier to stay away than partake. Yeah. And stuff that, you know, emotionally a lot of people hang on to over the years. There's been a few things, I think he took some shots of like old football stuff and my mom gave it to me years ago and, and I've been toting it around but it's never up on the wall, it's always in the closet. And I said, I gotta get rid of this. And she's like, no, your kids will want that. It'll mean something to them later on in life. Well, I asked my middle child, I said, hey, what do you think? Would you be interested? He's like, no way, dad. You know, I don't want that. So, you know, it's going in the trash finally, but I've been hauling it around for whatever, 35 years. So, you know, it's, that's, uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see you know, how it feels not to have some of that stuff around, you know, for the first time in a long time. all the leaf blowers are going on and on and on in the neighborhood and I look around and I shake my head and I think, you know, why do I have two thirds of an acre and I have to have this giant lawn crew come in and blow leaves and mow and it's just, it's, uh, it's just like make work. And so I'm looking around the environment that I live right now and I'm, there's parts of it which have seemed and continue to seem absurd to me. So that aspect of change I'm fully embracing and I'm excited about not having to worry about blowing leaves off my lawn. Right. You know, that, that's, that's actually exciting to me. <laughs> Scott is intrigued with the idea of developing and sharing a lifestyle that allows for much more time in the outdoors and wilderness. I definitely, um, think it's a worthy experiment. It'll be interesting to, to test it out and see how it feels and see how things open up or don't open up or, you know, that, that, that type of thing. So, yeah. Three months after the move from uh, my 4,800 square foot house, I'm now in about 750 square feet um, sharing resources with mom. I think it's a great idea. I look around me in this neighborhood that I live in and the homes are rather large and half of them have widows. 
And you know, it used to be family homes, and now it's just widows living in these big houses. And it's bothered me all along. And you talk about going together and living together, but everybody wants to keep their own house because they're used to being in charge of their home. So nobody gives it up. The concept of sharing resources has brought some freedom for me in that I haven't had to spend as much time worrying about my own refrigerator, my own stove top, my own shoveling of sidewalk, those types of things. Um, I'm getting a, a little lighter sense of, of being. I haven't really missed too many of the luxuries that I've walked away from thus far. Me Simple is building a website around the topics of simple living, finding gratitude, and connection with nature and the world around us. If you know of individuals, books, articles, or videos that address these topics, please share them with us today at mesimple.com.